Welcome to Zimbabwe, the house of stone, known as Zimba Zimbabwe. Where you find beautiful animals, excellent and traditional cuisine, beautiful women, handsome men, and with over 16 official languages, the population of almost 15 million, Zimbabwe is beautiful. With the roaring thunder, the Victoria Falls, which is one of the largest waterfalls in the world. Can you imagine this? Well, let's take you on a tour. Welcome to Zimbabwe. It's my first day in Zimbabwe, and to be honest, the beauty of Zimbabwe really shocks me. Walking in the street of Zimbabwe makes me feel like everywhere in Africa is home for Africans. I watch your programs and you encourage me. And I'm not here to lie to you that Zimbabwe is perfect, but I'm here to let you know that Zimbabwe is not what you think. We are in Harare, yeah? Yes, yeah. yes. And this place is the hustler street. Yes, yes. So yeah. we just want to welcome you all to Zimbabwe. Yes, I am. Can we all say, welcome to Zimbabwe? Welcome to Zimbabwe! Zimbabwe! My name is Takawira Zimbabwe! This is the majestic city of Zimbabwe sitting pretty right over there. I know you're shocked. You are not at fault. Even me, when I got here, I was super shocked to see that Harare is this beautiful. Why are you guys not telling us that Zimbabwe is this beautiful? I feel like I need to blame the people of Zimbabwe for not telling your own stories. It's okay. I'm gonna forgive you because I am here. I wanna let you know that Zimbabwe is well developed. Zimbabwe is not what you think. I cried when I was walking in the city of Harare. You know why? Because what I read on the internet, they told me that there are not even good roads in Zimbabwe. But it was shocking to see wide roads in the city of Harare. It's really shocking to see wide roads in Harare. I feel like this city really represents the Africa that you don't see on TV. I think I underrated Harare. I was oh. not expecting this beauty, man. You know, it's actually very beautiful. Now, before I left for the UK, things have, I mean, things have changed. We have one-way streets, and like you said, the roads are really wide, and it's very easy to travel here. I want to tell you guys something. One thing that I've noticed in Harare is that it's a mixture of colonial buildings and contemporary buildings. Absolutely. I You've mean, seen that too, yeah? Yes, but you see, that comes from uh, us being colonized by the British. So that's how you're seeing these these. Buildings. And because you said you were colonized by the British, I want to tell you something. Yeah, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. If you have been to Lusaka, Nairobi, even Accra, you will see that we have, I mean, similar streets in here. Yes. I mean, so many places that have been in Harare it looks like Lusaka, and it looks like the CBD of Nairobi. Have you ever been to Harare? Have you ever been to um? Are you living in Lusaka or you're living in Nairobi? Just let me know with the shots that you see right now. There's no difference. Maybe it's a footprint of the British. It's so pretty, man. I mean, let me know in the comment section, yeah? Did you ever expect that Harare will be this beautiful? Let me know the perception that you had about Zimbabwe before this video. I have been exposed to the beauty of different African countries, but to be honest, yeah? Harare. Mm -hmm. It's a discovery. <laughs> wow. 
Brothers and sisters, welcome to the capital and the largest city of Zimbabwe, Harare. in Samora Mashal right now, one of the major streets in Harare. And in this street you find the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe and the National Parliament offices. You also have our beautiful Mbuyani Handa statue that was installed recently. This statue, as a fun fact, it rotates 360, having a view of every single part of this beautiful city. Come on now, our ancestors are always completely looking over us. I really love the fact that Samara Marshall also has Zimbabwean's Women's Bank that's also located in this street. It's so busy that during traffic hours though, you really can stress us about it. But it's so beautiful and we love to see it. To be honest, yeah, Harare is extremely modernized, man. And something that is modernized always looks beautiful. And I know you are amazed that the girl said the major road in this country is named after Samora Marshall, who is a Pan-African leader from Mozambique. I've never seen anything like that before. Have you? I just love the Pan-African spirit in Zimbabwe. You know why? Because in Zimbabwe, one of the major roads is also named after the legendary Kwame Nkrumah. To the extent that I saw a mall in here called Kwame. And as a Ghanaian, I felt so proud. But not just that, we got Julius Nyerere from Tanzania streets in here. We got Kenneth Kawinda from Zambia streets in here. We got Nelson Mandela from South Africa street in here. And the man of the land need to put his name on the street too. Welcome to the home of Robert Mugabe. Thank you. We have fought for our land. We have fought for our sovereignty. Small as we are, we have won our independence and we are prepared to shed our blood in sustenance and maintenance and protection of that independence. So today we're symbolically in a place that is called Unity Square. The only surprising thing or hidden thing is it's actually designed the same way as the Union Jack or the British flag. It was these roads and this one and this dissecting oh. roads. It's actually like the Union Jack. If you check the Union Jack, that's exactly the shape of this place, the Africa Unity Square. That's a fact that I didn't know. You Thank know. you. This is the highest point of Harare. And this is the point from which the name Harare comes from. Because there used to be a man who used to stand here and he used to overlook the whole Harare. of Harare. And he would be looking out over this land. And at wow. that time, it was the land of um, Chief Mbari. And so when the enemy would approach, they would always find this guy up. They would always find this guy ready 
they'll always find this guy having alerted the soldiers or the uh, 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 warriors to be prepared for the attackers. Mm. They would come, they would go back. They would wait for night time, they would come, he's there. They would come in the morning, they would come in the day, they would come on Monday, they would come when it's cold and you'd be there. And that's when they said, that guy doesn't sleep, which means Harare. That's how Harare got its name. From this hill. You understand? How many Zimbabweans know this story? And, and let me tell you, you saw the interesting thing is when we came up. Yeah. You saw that we saw soldiers along the way. Till today, Arare still exists. <laughs> and even at night, the city of Harare never sleeps. Son. You know, you know people are mad at me for calling you Mugabe's son. No. They thought you are the real son of Mugabe. No, 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 no. They didn't know that because you are from Zimbabwe, that's why I call you no, Mugabe's no, son. No, 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 no. We don't have any relations with uh, the late president. <laughs> yeah, but that's what you used to call me in China. So. Exactly. Yeah. Because that's the only thing I knew about Zimbabwe. Yeah, but you are now here. Exactly. You're finding more. How are you finding the city? How are you finding Harare? Listen, I never knew Harare is this beautiful. Yeah. I think Harare is one of the most underrated cities I've ever been to. Can you uh, believe that? Uh, how so? How so? Explain, See, explain. I, I, no, listen. This city mm -hmm. is quiet and calm. Right. This city, I feel like it's a combination of the natural environment and modern facilities. You know why? Because, why? listen, if you go to certain countries, you don't even see trees. But yeah. there are trees everywhere in Harare. Yeah, yeah, we, I think the, 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 the city fathers have tried uh, to preserve that uh, uh, that side of town and there are heavy fines if you are seeing chopping trees. And we're actually encouraging people to even plant more, more trees. More trees? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, but then but then here's something you have to know. Mm. It's, it's not, it's not, Harare is not all about this side. Okay. There's also the bustling side. Wow. Uh, the hive of activity. I'll take you there, downtown Harare. Where all the hustling, trading, and then you know, got all the uh, small to medium enterprises, people who are just doing business, and it's just passing. So it's not all. Harare is not always this calm. I have to take you to the other. No, side. I know that is the part of town that I really want to see because I feel like this place is more like kind of calm and chill. And it's history. my kind of place, but there's no money at this place. Yeah, yeah. The thing, <laughs> it's not that there's no money. It's it's more commercial. So you've got your offices, you've okay. got your. Um, your commercial offices, you've got your government offices here. Okay. And uh, you know, like other international like companies here. But then other side, that's where you have like, you know, the hive, the activity. I I, I, I really need, need to take you guys there, man. Let's go check course, it out, man. We have to. We'll Thank check you. It out, definitely. This is the downtown of Harare. Wow. It's way more bustling as you can see. I feel like this place is full of life, man. Yes, of course, because a lot of people are doing business. Uh, so you find that there are people selling um, their different ways. For Ooh. example, electronics, you can get gadgets, TVs, uh, bicycle parts, car parts, name it, uniforms, protective wear. So, this is a very, very busy part of town. Does it mean that everything that you're going to get here will be affordable? Mostly, because a lot of people from even uh, uh, just outside Harare also come here 
Oh wow! And buy stuff and then go and resell it there for a profit. So there's really a dollar to be made. I, I, I feel like it's overcrowded, man, because like everyone is here. No, but being overcrowded also means good business. So it means that a lot of business is happening here. You know why Tony is saying that? Because he has a shop in here. He's making all the money in Harare, and the nah, shop is right here, bro. I'm, I'm surviving. I'm surviving. <laughs> That's all I'll say. I'm surviving. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna put his Instagram if you're interested in buying any electronic gadgets, buy from my guy, man. Please. <laughs> you know, here yeah, you've got more small holder. Oh, players. so these are like uh, SMEs, like small scale SM businesses and all of that. Ex exactly. Man, I mean, this is the place that you need to spend your money. Yeah. So yeah. whenever you come to Harare, I think he is always good to come and spend your money yeah. in here because these are the real hustlers. Exactly, these are the real hustlers <laughs> who are working hard for their money. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing, man. In this video, I'm only focusing on Harare. What makes this beautiful city so unique from any other city in the world? Yes, it's a world-class city, but listen, when most of you got to know that I'm going to Harare, most of you thought I'm going to trade my toes for rituals. No, that is not true. Something like that is not happening in Harare. It was just a joke that escalated to the rest of the world. So since I'm here, I'm just gonna let you know that that is not true. Coming from Ghana, it's everywhere that when you go to Zimbabwe, you can actually cut your toes and make a lot of money for you to buy cars. But apparently, you are the one who started it. Yes, I'm the one who started it. There's nothing like no, no, I want cutting to toes and making money here. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Yes. That was a false statement. Yeah. Can you apologize yes, to the people of Zimbabwe yes. for what you've caused out yes, there? Yes, yes, yes. I apologize, I apologize yeah. Yeah. To, to my nation, Zimbabwe, yeah, for the statement, for the statement I say about the toes. Forgive me, I was joked that day. It was joke, in fact, it was joke. Not true about the toes. It was a joke. Inside the city of Harare, I found a unique and interesting building that I think you all need to know about. Did you know that this is the biggest mall that we have in Zimbabwe and it's sitting on 26,000 square meters? What's also very interesting about uh, this building is it's based on um, termite mount, which means it cools itself. So it's quite interesting that uh, using nature to inspire the building. So this is one of the, uh, the buildings that I think is very, very important, especially here in Zimbabwe, uh, when you talk about green and going green and not using a lot of energy. So you can imagine how many air conditioning uh, units we need to use to cool down this building, but it's all being done naturally. I mean, ah, Guatemala is everywhere. I'm gonna see myself on YouTube today. You know what? <laughs> Tell us something about Zimbabwe. Um, Zimbabwe is a very quiet, peaceful country. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we need more tourists, please. Come and visit us. Well, why, why, should, why should somebody visit um, Zimbabwe? Um, well, people should visit Zimbabwe because... Actually, I'm sorry, I'm coming from a funeral, but... <laughs> so I can't be happy, but come visit Zimbabwe, you know? Um, we have so many nice people, we have so many nice places, we have... Come on, come just be our friends, you know? <laughs> she's so excited that she doesn't know what she's saying. Yes, I don't even know what I'm saying, you know? I... <laughs> uh, it's so nice to meet you. What same here, I? same here. Miss Trudy, I love you. Like I've always been preaching, everywhere in Africa is home for Africans. Listen, I was walking in the street of Harare, enjoying myself, and I met this young man right here, and I asked him, yo, are you from Zimbabwe? He's like, no, 
Where are you from, my brother? I'm from DRC, Congo. DRC, Congo? Yes. The richest country in the world? Yeah, yeah. And you are here in Zimbabwe? Yeah, I'm here in Zimbabwe. What brought yeah. you to Zimbabwe? Yeah, in searching of life, you know. I find myself here. Life forces me to be here. And how is life in Zimbabwe, bro? Yeah, yeah, we thank God. We are managing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm okay with you. I mean, life how long have you been here? For almost a decade, since uh, 2008. Yeah, yeah. You've been here since 2008. Yeah, yeah. If you should tell us something that we need to know about Zimbabwe, what will you say? Yeah, particularly Zimbabwean people, they are welcome people. They welcome foreigners, the way they treat foreigners. Yeah, it's something that is particular from Zimbabwe. Yeah, we are good. Uh, we are good. We are good. Yeah. And yeah, it, it's peaceful to live in Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is well, it safe? Yeah, very safe to live in Zimbabwe. Yeah. This is a foreigner. Yeah. No, I, I cannot call you a foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> you can never be a foreigner in Africa, man. Yeah. This is our fellow African living in Zimbabwe, and he's telling us that Zimbabwe is super safe. So I just want to welcome you all. To Zimbabwe. Yo, 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 I'm here with Kodimaya yeah, here. Yeah. Welcome to Zim. I would say the people in Zim are actually nice. Like, whatever about Zim you can say, the people are actually nice and welcoming. You can see everyone say, so. Yeah, I would say the best thing about Zim is the character of the people. And what about Harari? What is so unique uh, about Harari, man? Well, always the melting pot of Zim. If you want to know what's happening in Zim, come to Harari. And when I was coming to Zimbabwe, I was not expecting to see the people of Zimbabwe living extravagant life. I mean, the houses that people are living in are mansions and the house that they live in, the compounds that they have, which means these people can boast of huge lands. about lands too i need to let you know that i was so inspired and love the spirit of farming among the people of zimbabwe we've got an interesting stories that that are coming up that we're going to share with you all i think they've actually done a great job hiding zimbabwe from us but since i'm here it's time for me to discover the real zimbabwe and if i discover the real zimbabwe I think it's time for you to share this video to let the world know that Zimbabwe indeed is not what you think. So as a Zimbabwean diaspora returning back to Zimbabwe, if you have a message for the 4 million Zimbabwe living abroad, what would that message be? Uh, the message would be uh, there's a lot of negativity around so I would say experience Zimbabwe yourself with an open mind because sometimes experiencing Zimbabwe with, uh, with, uh, with someone else's vision or someone else's thoughts doesn't work and, and uh, that was the case with me as well I used to hear a lot of negative things about, uh, about Zimbabwe so I would say to anyone out there just come here experience it with an open mind I would say that's the most important thing uh, that way you will start seeing the country from a true perspective of your lens. 